GitHub is a code hosting platform and we're going to use it in CS15 in order to give all of the students access to the project code as well as provide them with a place to save their code. To start, you should have already made and verified your GitHub account, um, but in order to actually use GitHub and connect it with your local machine, we use a tool called Git. And Git essentially connects GitHub to your computer through a terminal. So this is the Mac OS terminal, Windows also has a terminal. And for Mac, in order to install Git, all you have to do is type git dash dash version and then press install. Once Git finishes installing, you can type git dash dash version again. If you type git version and it shows you something, that means you successfully installed Git. Now, two more steps that are super important in correctly setting up Git. You should type git config dash dash global user dot email and then type your email. in quotes and also git config global user dot name and type your name these steps you shouldn't see any outcome but they're really important for using git later so now that we have git all set up and installed we can actually move on to beginning our project to accept any project in cs15 in the project handout, there'll be some link, which will take you to the GitHub classroom page. And then you should come to this page that tells you to refresh the page to see updates. You can refresh the page. Sometimes the update won't come immediately. You can just wait a moment or two and then re-refresh. Then it'll take you to a page that either has one or two links. This one only has one link, so obviously this is the correct link. Sometimes there are two links. You should be clicking the bottom link. And when you click that link, it takes you to your repo, your repository, which essentially is your online folder for your assignment. So as you can see, this is my repository for Lab Zero, and then it has my GitHub username following. So in this repo comes any of the stencil code that we provide you in the beginning of the assignment. So for example, in this case, we have app.java. In order to get this code from GitHub to my actual computer, I'm going to click on this green button called code and then copy the link that it gives me right here. Then I'm going to open IntelliJ. And in IntelliJ, there's actually a terminal as well. So you can just click this little terminal button at the bottom and it will open a terminal in IntelliJ for you. Typically, if you open a terminal in the CS15 folder in IntelliJ, you will already be in the CS15 folder. On Mac, you can check which folder your terminal is currently located in by typing pwd. So as you can see, I'm located in my CS15 folder, which is on my desktop. On Windows, the command for that is just cd. However, if I wasn't in the CS15 folder, in this case, I'm just in my like home directory, I can use a command called cd, which is choose directory. This is universal for both Mac and Windows. And I can just type basically the folder that I want to go to. If you remember, my CS15 folder was placed on my desktop. And so in order to get there from my home directory, I can cd, choose directory, into my desktop folder. Now, if I type pwd, I will be in my desktop folder. Then once I'm on desktop, I now want to cd into my CS15 folder. And then once I do that, I'm now in my CS15 folder. So make sure that you are in your terminal, in your CS15 folder, wherever that may be. Once we get into our CS15 folder, we have to do one last step to basically finish Java setup. This is the last step that will only be done for the first project. For Mac, all you have to do is type dot slash Mac setup dot sh. Okay, now that we're done with that, we're going to CD into the SRC folder, the source folder within the CS15 folder, which you can see right up here right now there's nothing in it, but we want to put our lab zero project in it, the one from GitHub. So to do this, we can use a, a command called git clone. So we type git clone and then we paste that link that we got from our GitHub repo. And when we press enter and it says unpacking objects, that means that our folder has been properly cloned. Now, if we look in our SRC folder, we see lab zero mtreevent. For every single project in CS15, 
we have to rename it to get rid of our GitHub username. So we can right click on the project folder, go to refactor, and then click rename. Then you want to just change it to be lab zero. For any of the projects in CS15, you basically just want to get rid of the dash and then your GitHub username. Then hit refactor. You might get this warning down here that says invalid VCS root mappings. The way to fix that is just press configure and then go to the directory that has your GitHub username and press the little minus button. Press apply and press OK. OK, so now we can actually start working on our project. So if you see over here in the lab zero folder, we have this file app.java, which is the support code we give you for lab zero. In order to run this project, you have to compile and then run your code. In order to do that, we need to first CD into our lab zero folder. Once you're in there, you can type java c star dot java. And if you see no errors, that means that your program is now compiled. If you notice, there's now an app.class file in the lab zero folder. Then use the command cd dot dot slash to move out of the lab zero folder and back into the SRC folder. Then you can type java lab zero dot app and this command will run your program, which in this case says hello world. Next step is to make any changes you want um, to the project. So let's say I wanted to add a comment that says hello. Now I want to save my work on GitHub. And the way to do this is to run a series of commands. First, so you can run git add dash capital A. This command essentially just collects all of the changes that you have made to the project. Then you basically create your commit, which is essentially the snapshot of the project that you're saving. And so use the command git commit dash M. And then you basically just have to put some sort of message in quotes. So for example, in this case, I added a comment so I can say added comments. And this will just tell you what is in your commit. And then to actually get the commit pushed to GitHub, saved on the GitHub website, you can use the command git push. Okay, now if we click this link, this will take us to the GitHub repo. And you can see that in app.java, we now have that comment that I added to the file. So again, in this video, we learned basically how to start, compile, run, and then save your changes to GitHub. And you can use these instructions to essentially work on any project in CS15.